The other positive perspective on grief is when something happens in your life and you go to the grief, it's because you're, some part of you is trying to process the loss of something. And grief has a very particular vibration that when we use it like a wave of energy and we let it move through us, that wave of energy can change our vibration. And when it changes our vibration, it changes our consciousness, it changes the chemistry of the body. And there have been people that I've talked with and have heard talking about grief experiences where they say, yeah, it was a really intense grief experience, but I feel completely transformed after going through the grief process. Because again, the grief is literally like a wave that has the ability to change your vibration, which changes your chemistry, changes your consciousness. And then I spoke a little bit earlier about the grief and how it's literally a process of release. You're trying to release something, to clean something out of your fields. The other reason that we'll go to grief is we'll maybe walking along on a hike, thinking about somebody, and you feel this huge wave of grief. And you realize that you were just given responsibility for something that isn't yours. And so you'll conjure the wave of grief, trying to release responsibility for something that you might have just taken or somebody might have just given you for something that is not yours. And that happens often when somebody is in a process of transition. So if we have um, a loved one or a friend who is either about to pass over to the other side or has passed over to the other side, a lot of the times people, when they're passing, they'll give little bundles, little responsibilities for things that they still want to work on to those that are around them, that are conscious, that are evolved, that might have energetic capacity. And so we'll get this bundle of responsibility when the person dies. But what we're not realizing is we're, we feel this huge wave of grief when they die because they just handed us a bundle of responsibility that isn't ours and we're in a grief process trying to return that responsibility, that bundle back to them. So again, grief can be very powerful when you're mindful of, oh God, all these people gave me all these responsibilities and I've got all of this grief. Tied in a little bit with that depression, all that responsibility, use the grief to return it or use the anger to return it back to its right and perfect place. We also will go into grief because we are trying to use the grief to reestablish lines of connection, communication with those that we love, those that we care about. So again, if somebody passes over to the other side or somebody moves away, we energetically still want to maintain connection, these energetic lines of communication. And so we'll try to use the grief to reestablish lines of communication, but we might not even be able to energetically feel where they've gone to. So there's an energetic process for using the grief to reestablish lines of communication connection. And then again, empathic, just like with depression, you might be empathically feeling the grief of another. And why would that be? Well, a lot of people are not comfortable with their emotions. But if you have spent many, many lifetimes watching consciousness, studying consciousness, focused on your evolution, there is a part of you that is actually quite comfortable with emotion, whether you know it or not. But when you're very comfortable with emotions, what will happen is people around you that haven't gone on that journey, that aren't comfortable with their emotions, they'll be like, oh, look, they're really comfortable with emotions. They'll give you all these little bundles of all this unprocessed emotion, all these emotions that they are not comfortable processing. They'll hand it to you because they're like, well, you're comfortable with emotion. You can hold mine. And then you might hold it, not even realizing you're holding it. And you've got all this grief and you're like crying and crying. And it's like feels forever. And it, it doesn't make sense. Why am I crying so much? Oh, you're holding all of these people's grief bundles or emotional bundles, trying to process it for them because you're comfortable with emotions. And again, you'd bring in an energetic protocol to return all those bundles of grief back to them at the level of their higher selves where they have capacity to receive it, sending appropriate information, returning responsibilities. You could do the empathic protocol process. So those are the five reasons why you might go into grief. Processing loss, trying to change your chemistry, trying to be in a process of release, letting something go, 
trying to give responsibility back to whomever that just gave it to you or that you took, trying to reestablish connection with another that you love or an empathic bundle that you're holding of other people's grief. And it could even be global mass consciousness returning it back to them. <laughs>